everyone. Today I'm here to review another book for you. And the book I will be reviewing today is Assault to the Sea by Ruta Septis. I probably pronounced that wrong and I apologize. I was invited by Penguin Teen to complete an honest review of this book that enters me in a giveaway. So let's talk about this book. So I'm going to do this book review kind of differently than I do my other book reviews. Number one, it's going to be all spoiler free. It's going to be very brief. And number three, you can enter this review in two different ways. Bear with me, if you will. So this book, if you didn't already know, is a historical YA novel. I don't read a ton of historic novels because if I'm honest, I'm not really that interested in history. That's my husband's forte. That's amazing. People love history. I like history here and there, but not as much. But I adored this book. So it's a history doll, like I said. It's based on the greatest, one of the biggest marine time tragedies ever. So what I'm saying for this review, how you can enter it in different ways. You don't want to know too much about this book before reading it. You could just need to know that it's a history novel and that it is based on a marine time tragedy. That's all you can know going in this book. That's great. I think a lot of people go that way and I think that's a great way. Or number two, you can learn more about it. You can learn the history behind this book. The events that actually happened that inspired this book and so forth. So what I'm going to do is if you would like to know not that very much about this book, I will leave a little click right here, right there for you to skip ahead where I just talked about the book and what I thought of it. So you're not getting spoiled with the history of it. It's not spoiling the book, it's just spoiling the history about the book, the make, you know, that inspired the book. I'm basically going to talk about the events and stuff that happened, you know, about this book, if that makes sense, hopefully. So if you don't want to hear any of that, click right here. And, or if you're on a phone or a mobile thing where you can't click, I will leave the um, actual um, minute right here or I will leave it down below for you to fast forward so you don't get really, you know, not spoiled, but you don't know too much about going this book because a lot of people, which I totally understand, don't like to know too much about books. They just want to go into a book and learn more about it, which is totally fine. So you can click right there. Now, if you want to learn about the history that inspired this book, please keep watching because I am going to share this with you. So again, if you don't want to hear about it, click right here. The thing will be right here. And anyway, let's learn more about Salt of the Sea. Salt of the Sea is based on the greatest, I believe it's the greatest maritime tragedy in all of the world. And it's actually a very, it's a lesser known known thing. Not a lot of people know about this. I myself didn't know about it, but I'm not surprised because like I said, I'm not a history buff. My husband didn't even know about it and he loves history. So what happened is World War II. We all know about that, right? Hitler, all that stuff crazy, so Union, la la la, a lot of stuff happened in World War II. So this takes place in winter of 1945, the end of World War II. It takes place in Prussia, predominantly, where it was formerly known as Prussia. What happens is, is Hitler does not want to evacuate Prussia because he's feeling that it's going to send out a wrong signal, like, they, like they're losing the war. He doesn't want to show everybody his weakness. He doesn't want to do that because he's not letting anybody evacuate. Forces are closing in very, very quick on them and they are forced to evacuate and it gets scary really, really fast. So so what the Germans decide to do is they decide to evacuate everybody through the Baltic Sea. They take every single boat they have on hand, like fisher boats, any boats, and they take the Wilhelm Gusloff, hopefully I pronounced that right, which is actually a cruise ship, only designated to hold 1,400 people. So there was a pool in this boat. They took it out. They took all the furniture. They took everything that could be taken out into it to make sure this can fit the most capacity. By the end of doing that, and when they finally went to sea, it had 10,000 people on this ship. So keep that in mind. The capacity was 1,400. They had 10,000. Now, very little into their voyage, they got hit with a torpedo from the Soviet Union and it took 60 minutes for the Guslov to sink and out of that 10,000 people that boarded the Guslov only 657 survived so it is just a tragedy it's 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 such a tragedy like it's insane I got a lot of this information and stuff like that a lot of the wording and everything was from the video that Penguin Team put up where Ruta actually explains everything and it's such a beautifully made video it explains to you it shows pictures it shows videos and you get immersed in learning about this and you just feel for these people even more when going to this book so do I think that learning about the history really ruined me for this book because ultimately I know what would happen in the end and honestly no it didn't instead it made me feel more for these characters it made me feel like just I can't believe this is happening and it just put a new light on it so I highly recommend watching the video if you want to learn about the history of it I will leave the link down below for you to go watch it it's amazing Penguin Teen did amazing on it Ruta did amazing she just she writes amazingly and I love her speaking voice it's just very calming and it's very just 
a great narrative, honestly, listening to her and just, it's a beautiful video. Now that you know a little bit about the history, I'm gonna briefly talk about the book. Wanted to hear about the history, it's okay to watch. And if you have watched the history bit I've talked about, it's okay to watch as well. So I talked to him briefly about in the history part of this video, about this video, about this whole event thing that happened, which I will link down below, like I said. It's a beautiful video, you should watch it. The author narrates it, it's beautiful, her voice, it's just amazing. So after you read this book, if you didn't want to hear the history part of this video, I highly recommend you go watch it. Let's just go watch it even if you're not interested in this book at all because it's an amazing video. So what I thought about this, this is my first history book and I really liked it. I loved the characters. So we follow four protagonists in this book and I will say in the beginning it was kind of shaky to like differentiate them from another because we got a little bit later in the book because they were all very similar in the beginning. A lot of things were happening and it was hard just following pace with that. Really learn the differences with each protagonist and you will see which ones you'll be able to follow their footsteps if that makes sense. You'll be able to differentiate them from others. So we have all these people coming from different ones. We have a Lithuanian girl. We have a Prussian guy. We have a German guy. We have a Polish girl. We have all these people coming from different backgrounds, different areas of life boarding this Boat, and that's what's keeping them together. That's what ties them all together is going on to this boat. And I loved how they were all so different, you know? We have a lot of history with all these characters and we delve into more about them. I love giving, getting the different perspectives of these four people, you know? They all come from different lands, they all flee for a reason, they all, you know, have history and I love learning about them and learning about each of their own stories. It was awesome. Now the chapters are very, very short. And the chapters, I mean like it'll say the character's name and I'll have a few pages. I like that but I didn't love it. Sometimes I wish there would have been a little bit more depth into certain characters because I wanted more and that's, I just wanted a little bit more sometimes but I gotta say I really enjoyed this book. For being my first history book I really enjoyed it. I thought it was awesome and I would recommend it to anyone. I gave it a four out of five stars. I just thought the writing was nice. It was kind of haunting you know. I knew about the history and I knew all about it and it was just a really good book and I definitely want to check out Ruta's other books because I've heard amazing things about them between Shades of Grey especially that one. That one I've heard that's an amazing book but I highly recommend if you're not into history like myself pick this one up because it's really good. It'll make you feel like it's when you read it it doesn't feel like a history book if you will. It feels like just four stories interweaving into one because these four character stories are all interweaving all intertwining all going to this one central thing so I really liked that it didn't feel like a history and it wasn't like a history novel like when you read a textbook at school you're hit with pages of information this one it just like I said weaves I love that word it weaves itself into the story you learn a little bit more through each page but you don't feel like you're getting a ton of info dump on it if that makes sense so overall I really enjoyed this book and I highly recommend you read it and if you have read it please let me know what you thought about it because I would love to talk about it and who was your favorite protagonist and all that type of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.